not gonna waste any more time. Welcome back to Ruby. It is now time for volume six. Last thing we saw, we have the Relic of Knowledge and Raven went to Ty. Let's see what happened at that point. Y'all hype this up a lot. I'm here for it. I'm not gonna survive. I mean, I'm still here after volume three. I am recording, right? I'm just making sure. Okay! are back together! Yee! Incoming! Look at the squad! Good to see you're not rusty. <laughs> oh, you love to see it! You love it! Why is it always something? Just keep it for the back! I see the spot for Vera! He turned his back on us. He just... Step away from my throne. We have work to do. We? Everyone knows what you did. You abandoned your brothers at Haven. Step away from my... We are not taking orders from you anymore. Wow! I heard you folded the moment you got sass from the Belladonna girl. I guess she's got more control over you than you... What? No. no! No! He made it back and he's... No! No! Get rid of him! Belladonna girl. Blake. He's out here just rogue. A maniac at this point. Oh wow, oh wow. What's, uh, is this Argus Limited, by the way? It's been two weeks since the attack on Haven. The official report states that the plot to destroy Mistral CCT Tower was thwarted by Gira Belladonna and the Faunus Militia Group from Menagerie. Mm. The Huntsmen and some students coincidentally visiting the Headmaster were also able to lend some assistance. Unfortunately, Leonardo Lionheart lost his life while trying to defend his school. And those responsible for organizing the attack managed to escape. As I'm sure you can guess, there's a lot more to this report than I'm willing to say in this letter. But for now, what I'm trying to say is that we're on our way to Atlas, James. There's a good chance we'll get there before this letter does, but in case we don't, I need you to know that we're bringing a lot more than bad news with us. See you soon, Crow. Hey, what's with the running? The what's with the standing? It's almost time! <laughs> this animation is nice! And? Family. Ah! What an absolute waste of time. What did you get me? You have to wait and see. No fair. Ah! I can't believe we're taking the train to Argus. Beautiful northern coastline. You think it's too early for beach season? Oh my gosh. Unfortunately. But we will be one step closer to Atlas. Well, I'm glad you're all excited, but I don't think you appreciate the trouble I went through to leave Atlas. I know you're worried, Weiss, but trust us. Team Ruby won't leave your side for a second. I promise. I don't like that. Already, see, see. 
you want to be optimistic, but then you just, you know you're just going to get tossed on the floor, beaten to a pulp, left there to cry, and then have no coffee to dry your tears. I already had two cups. That's why I'm not drinking any now. This is why we drink water. No one's got to be worried with us around. Who are you? And you are... Uh... Why, Dee and Dudley, of course. The Argus Limited's very own huntsman. We'll be keeping everyone safe as we pass through grim territory. But, for a generous tip, we can make sure your passenger car gets extra special attention. Should things get dangerous. Right! Hey, I got a tip for you. Huh? Buzz off. <laughs> Looks like Mistral's really scraping the bottom of the barrel these days. Hey, you're talking to a... A professional <laughs> huntsman, right. Well, it seems like one of you heroes left the staff entrance to the caboose wide open. It'd be a shame to lose your job before it even started. I... I didn't do it! <sighs> Come on, dummy. Well, I didn't do it either. I do hope those Who's weren't Beacon graduates. You know, sometimes the burden of saving the world feels overwhelming. Does it? But then people like that come along and make me grateful that it's our job and not theirs. Yeah. True. So, you kids ready to go? Bike all loaded up? Yep, just waiting on Blake. As usual. Yeah, where is Blake? I still don't feel like I deserve the freedom you and your family granted me. Well, you're going to have to get over it, Ilya. Saving Haven had a huge impact on how Faunus are seen in Mistral. Now, it's up to you all to take the progress and keep running with it. Mm. Right. The White Fang may have been a failure, but with your father starting up a new movement, I've got more faith than ever before. Thank you, Blake. Oh, God! I wish you didn't have to go. I know, but my team needs me. We're going to track down the people responsible for the attack on Haven and the fall of Beacon. <laughs> Always trying to save the world. I mean, someone's got More to. than you realize. Hey. I knew your parents already saw you off, but where's... Son? Oh, he's right here. <laughs> what? What's going on, You didn't on, think man? I was going to miss your big send-off, did you? He definitely overslept and absolutely almost missed mm. this. <laughs> hey, Blake. Now, would you hurry up? Need I remind you, we have our own trip to plan. Oh. I didn't know Ilya was going to be here. Oh, wow. I'll, uh, I'll give you two of them. Wait, does he know Ilya? Because we haven't seen Neptune since season three. And by the way, I totally forgot that Neptune is from Mistral. Or from hey, he uh, I almost didn't see you there. Because, you know, the, the camouflage. Wrong tree. They'll figure it out. So you're really going to Vacuo? That's right. Seeing you reunited with the rest of Team Ruby really made me realize something. I'm like the worst team leader ever. <laughs> Me and the boys were cool with a little hiatus, but we gotta make up for lost time. Wait, what's their team called again? I forgot. Is Sun the leader? Shade Academy's not dealing with any problems like Haven right now. Plus, that means I can show the guys around my old stomping grounds. I have to admit, I think I was kind of getting used to having you around. Aww. I go where I'm needed. Okay. And you don't need me anymore. Well, when you say it like that, it sounds sad. Look, despite the drama and the fighting and the numerous attempts on my life, I had a lot of fun. But you're with who you're supposed to be now. Son, I don't think I'll ever be able to thank you enough. I'm still, um... You're still working a lot of things out. I know. But you can do it with them. And... In the future? Who knows? I've got a feeling you haven't seen the last of me. I certainly hope not. <sighs> Way to go, son! Way to go! That's a loyal friend. Oh, man, that... That is someone you need in your life. Someone in your corner, okay? I didn't, I thought he was trying to make the moves on Blake, and probably he was, but man, he's such in great high spirits. You are who you're supposed to be with right now. 
Give it up for Son, man. I don't know, man. It feels like you're just letting her go. It was never about that, Brainiac. Besides, now that your leader's back and hardened from battle, I've got to focus all of my time into getting you boys ready for the wasteland. Okay! <sighs> Neptune, relax. He's so focused about getting chicks and whatever. No, man! Stay alive! Be with your team! Do what you- Let me relax. Way to go! It's something about you. It's something about you. Are you the final boss? I'm reaching. <laughs> Aww. It's like they're bunk beds from home. They're all together. That's crazy. All right, girls. I think it's time for an official team exercise. Who wants to play video games? I mean, if you want me to kick your butt, yeah, sure. Let me grab my scroll. Here, let me help you with that. Blake, you don't have to do that. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm fine. Oh, We're gonna be fine. Oh. It's just gonna be a bit before things are back to normal. But... I am glad we're all back together. Yeah. Okay. Oh, touching. Oh! Hey! hey! Bro, where did you get that and how can I obtain one? You wanna play too? <laughs> Kick your butts? Sure. Is that a strawberry sunrise? What was that? Hold on, you dropped the sun. You drop the strawberry sunrise. I see where Yang gets it from. And number three, where's Glinda, bro? <laughs> All right, what happened? Exactly what, happened? what it sounds like. Just my luck. It's not yours. Grab your weapons. Oh, is this the the beginning? Okay. Oh, look who it is. Okay! Time to rock and roll, baby! Don't tell me Dean is dead, is that a thing? Wow. What's the plan, Ruby? Don't let anyone else die! Is he dead? No, he probably is. Shall I? No, I'm keeping control. <laughs> What's going on? What's up, John? Toward the passengers. Right. Come on, Oscar! Stop! You can't 
Gotta shut the turrets up! Are you crazy? No way! Yes! Another one down! Stop! Oh have to lure the crim to the back! What does it matter if they're dead? <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, I don't like that formation. What the hell? Where are they going? Huh? No! Oh! oh no! Oh! oh! I said, turn those damn things off. Those things are keeping us alive. Us, sure, but they're putting the passengers. In. Oh God! Okay. In charge here. Forgive me if I'm not exactly reassured. Not the baby. Just try. Get off me! Look, if you bozos had been doing your job instead of shaking Come on, Ruby. Passengers, you know what to do. Maybe we wouldn't be in this. Calm it down. You're gonna attract Grim that way. Please just shut off the turrets. Trust us. We know what we're doing. Shut up the shot! Damn it all! Oh, wow. Fine. Ren, could you use your semblance to mask everyone on this train? With the guns off and emotions hidden, they might lose track of us. Hmm. I've never attempted to affect this many people. Well, you've never had Jean's help before. Hmm? You could amplify your aura. Yeah, that's an all right plan. May I? Don't look so worried, Ren. You can totally do this. I'll be I'm afraid there's one complication. Grim are also attracted to this. How? What's that? None of your business. <clears throat> Buzz, are you serious? Why wouldn't you tell us that? I. It doesn't matter right now. She's right. Every second we're on board this train, we're putting everyone else in danger. Get the passengers to the front cars. You'll still mask the emotions and kill the turrets. We just can't come with you. If we cut the back cars with us and the relic on them, we can deal with the Grim. You just make sure the rest of the train makes it safely to Argus. Okay. Only if you'll promise you'll meet us there. Thomas. Oh my god, the family. All right. It's all about it's all about you. I knew it. I called it. Just imagine it. Oh, this sounds right about the bus. Come on, Oscar. What? Yeah, the stinger to well, not anymore. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Ruby. Come on, Wise.
wise. I need to, need to calm it down. My throat okay? already hurts. Shh. I'm fine. Yeah. Still alive. Who are you? That sure was a close one, huh? Is that Coco? <laughs> Wait. God. You pay attention. Oh. Bro, you good? Bro? Volume 6. I had questions. This person has got to be some sort of oracle. I'm calling that. Both of them have issues with Adam. That is, oh, that's so crazy. I need like a final battle of them two, meaning Bumblebee versus Adam. Crow is gonna fight his demons in Volume 6. Or actually, not fight his demons, but succumb to his demons. Who is this? Who is this? I know we're gonna find out as we watch it, but who is this? Okay, so Cinder is not in this picture, but I don't think she is gone. Who is this? Is that Oz? That don't look like Oz. Maybe it's not Oz. Is that Salem before she turned into a I don't know, I'm reaching. Chapter 2, Uncovered Death. Cinder, what did I do? Wee! Where's Raven? Raven's with time. We gotta see. Let me shut up. Got whooped by the spring maiden. Are you okay? Where did you? <gasps> the 
Was that Sender? That was Sender? We need control? to take the relic to Atlas? That's what I said. You've got to be joking. I mean, bright side. We finally get out of this house. <laughs> well, trust me, I'm not crazy about it either. And without the Spring Maiden here to seal the relic back in its vault, it's our best option. Atlas may be the safest kingdom we have at the moment, but their borders are closed. General Ironwood called everyone back. True. Uh, not everyone. The city of Argus is a ways north of us, and it's the primary trading port between Anima and Solitas. Is this before the first chapter? We've got the largest Atlas military base outside of the kingdom. There's no way they'd leave it abandoned. And if we play our cards right, I think there's a good chance we could convince them to escort us straight to Ironwood. I mean, we do have the missing heiress to the Shnidas company. Ex heiress, actually. Yikes. True, true. But if there's a chance of reward money, I say we go for it. <laughs> Hopefully the first option will suffice. Glad to see you're feeling better. Likewise. And while I'm sure we could all use more time to recover, I'm afraid time is of the essence. Maybe it's after, right. Like as long as that thing's out in the open, its power could fall into the wrong hands. Speaking of, what does it do exactly? Crow never really told us. Of course. The relic of knowledge has a wonderful and incredibly dangerous ability. Its user can ask any question, and the lamp will provide an answer. Intriguing. That's incredible. Indeed. However, it's not without drawbacks. Mm -hmm. The lamp cannot tell you of events that have yet to happen, and it will only ever answer three questions every 100 years. So it's like... The Dragon Balls, in a sense. Three questions per hundred years. How many questions are left now? Is this three, or is it like one? Well, I guess that's not so bad. Adds a lot of pressure, though. Then let's put it to a food! What should we ask first? Oh! Can we ask for more questions? Can we ask for more questions? They're not wishes. <laughs> I'm afraid you won't be able to ask it anything at the moment. Hmm? The questions were used before I sealed it away. Well, at least now we know what it is. And we'll be sure to keep it safe. What could you ask it? Like, that's a lot of... Okay, that was... Okay, I was Great. Right. This is just great. We're stranded. We lost a third of our party. And we have gained a defenseless old lady. <laughs> My name is Maria Caravera, and I am not defenseless. Maria! I'm just a little hard of hearing and blind without my eyes. Okay. That are in desperate need of repair. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to see your point. <laughs> Yang, knock it off, will ya? If we lose our cool now, we'll just be inviting even more Grim. Does that even matter? Apparently, we've been attracting Grimm since we left Haven. Oh, and how could I forget about that? What happened to no more lies and half-truths? That's ironic, because you haven't told them whom the Spring Maiden is, have you, Yang? Yeah. I think it's time we got an explanation. I did not lie to you. Well, you certainly didn't tell us everything about the relic. Damn. Please. Now is not the time. No, we're he, past that. He's right, I want to know why you're still not telling us everything. It is true that the Grim are attracted to the relics. It's faint but undeniable. I believe it has to do with their origin, but I'm not entirely sure. Regardless, I feared that making you all aware would only add anxiety and negativity. It seems like the safer option. You know, I'm getting real tired of people choosing what's best for me. Is that why you chose to lie to everyone about Lionheart too? Yes, as a matter of fact, I believed the Kingdom of Mistral deserved better than the truth. And I believed Leonardo deserved to be remembered for his lifetime of service, and not the unfortunate missteps he made in his final years. Missteps? What Professor Lionheart did was reprehensible. I am not here to argue differently. But does one lapse in judgment truly negate all of his good? 
Do we not all have regrets? You may have met Professor Lionheart, but you never met the man he was before Salem yeah, found him. True. Look, we're supposed to be in this together. You can trust us. We're not gonna turn our backs on you. Do you really think Leo was the first? Mm. That he didn't say those exact same words to me? I'm sorry, but you have to understand that my behaviors are backed by experience. I'm not saying that I have reason to think you will betray me. I'm saying that I have reasons for the things that I do, the secrets I keep. The reason I... Where's the relic? Right here. It got scattered in the crash. Please, hand it over. So all those times you talked about having faith in humanity? That was just for everyone else? Uh, wow. That's not what I meant to suggest. Miss Rose, the relic is a powerful item, and I simply feel as though it is my burden to bear. But you said it couldn't do anything right now. Why does it matter who carries it? I need you to listen to me. <laughs> oh, wow! Buzz? Oscar's Hurry. taking control. He's trying to stop you. Stop her from what? He's afraid he'll find out what he's hiding. Wow. Her name is Jen. Say her name to summon her. Her name? What? Oh, shit. Yo, I'm in here, like... Knowledge do you seek? Can I have your number? Um I'm nervous because Again, is it you ask three questions and then it's gone for another 100 years or it's inactive for a hundred years or can you do like one wish and then like hey Jin turn off power down and then save the other two she cute as hell, but it's just, I I'm nervous because th there's too much riding Right now. What the fuck? I feel very tense. This is Cinder coming in. Yeah. Hazel Rayner, Emerald Sustry, and Mercury Black have still not been seen since the attack and are presumed to have fled the city. The Mistral Police Department is offering a reward to any citizen. Wow! She's hiding among the crowd. Okay. You don't want to get caught up by this video without one. Here it away. Here it comes. That's far enough. Are we still in this Okay. Role? 
You're little Miss Malachite? I'm little Miss gonna skin you alive if you ever take that tone with me again. <laughs> Looks like your life savings. It was somebody's. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Cute. What do you want for it? I'm looking for these travelers. Well, sweetheart, you came to the right place. Hey, you made it. <laughs> a little jumpy today, hmm? You know, I used to be afraid of spiders. Stop. Want to know what I did about it? Learn to kill them. Oh, no. The world needs spiders. Stop that! No! I just made the spiders work for me. Mm -mm. If I see a spider in this show, I promise you, I'm not watching this show anymore. Look at these kids. My body hurts! Give us a week. We'll find your travelers. Little Miss, we already know where they are. That big guy asked about them last week. I know we know. Haven? But I mean, what uh, we Hazel? don't know is who here in Mistral might be asking about her. I am Jin, hey, a being Jin. created by the God of Light to aid humanity in its pursuit of knowledge. I've been graced with the ability to answer three questions every 100 years. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry for pausing again, but we know that there are two brothers, like the God of Light and the God of Dark, whom created the relics. Now, is the positive side, like, okay, you have these relics that can bestow great power, but the negative side is that it attracts Grim? Am I piecing that together correctly? You're in luck, as I'm still able to answer- That's enough! See? See? Two questions this two. era. Two, okay. Oh, wow. You gotta, you gotta spill the beans now. <laughs> it's a pleasure to see you again, old man. Ruby, please, don't. Hey. Wow! Oh, wow! Whatever you think is right, kiddo. Jin? What is Ozpin hiding from us? No! There it is! SpongeBob episode. Ruby? Yang? Once upon a time, there stood a lonely tower. Is this the Great War? That sheltered a lonely girl. Named Salem. I knew it! What ha- No! No! Don't do this to me! Alright. <laughs> okay. I have been very nervous with going into Volume 6, Chapter 3. A lot of you have said that not only is this long, but... There is a lot that is about to happen. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a quick intermission, okay? Go get you some snacks, go get you some more water, because I ran out. Get you a nice meal, a nice dinner. I don't know how y'all gonna do that in about five seconds. I'm more so just telling this to me, but it's about to go down. I'll see y'all in like three seconds. Here we go.
Here we go! All right, we are back. I got me a pudding cup. I got me some tea. Let's get into it. Chapter 3, The Lost Fable. Locked away by her cruel father, Salem was a girl who desired but one thing. Freedom. She lived in a time when kings and their kingdoms were plentiful, when men and women were capable of greatness, and magic was a gift from the gods that all could wield. And yet there she sat within her tower. Until one day, a legendary hero came to brave the challenges within the tower's walls. The people of the lands knew him as Ozma. Unlike those who had come before, this warrior was not driven by the prize of the young maiden's hand. He fought only for righteousness, and his pure heart and courageous soul prevailed. They escaped the wretched fortress, and yet something bound them together. Ozma had been ready to give his life for justice countless times, but now saw a woman worth saving it for. And Salem, to her surprise, found her freedom not in the outside world she had yearned for, but in the eyes of the man that had saved her. There is no way that this pudding is busting the way that it is. There is no way that this whole thing it's because Oz and Salem were together. There's, man, oh, I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to flip my chair. So, where should we go now? Wherever you'd like. The two fell deeply in love, planned adventures around the world, and lived happily ever after. Until what? Until what? Or at <laughs> least, that's what should have been. It should have been that, but what Ozma, happened? Ozma, the infallible hero of legend, fell ill. And he died! And where all of the beasts and blades of the world had fallen short, a single sickness prevailed. How could the gods let this happen? The gods, brothers of light and darkness, creation and destruction. Salem prayed they would see the injustice that had befallen her love and make things right. The Domain of Light was a sacred place. It was here the Elder Brother dwelled beside his fountain of life and creation. It was here where mankind would fall to ruin. To me. I understand your pain, but you demand of me that which I cannot make so. Life and death are part of a delicate balance. So, you won't do it then? To disrupt the cycle of... Th that's not fair. That's not fair! Let him rest. Wow. No. Don't tell me you went to the fortress of dark! What ain't that? Isn't that where Salem's? Like, isn't... Oh, shit. None dared to enter his home, 
as men knew what monstrosities emerged from his blackened pools of annihilation. The Grim? And so you must understand the Dark Lord's surprise when he found a lone woman kneeling before him. Salem understood it well. She told him of her loss, and professed that she knew only he could answer her prayers, all while careful to make no mention of his elder. Rise, child, and let your faith in me be rewarded. Sacrifice her life for this, or...? Was the cats? Where am I? What is this? Where am I? It's okay. Everything's going to be okay. Uh -oh. What have you done? I have done what I please, brother. You may bask in the powers of creation, but you do not own them. This is not creation. Do not lecture me. I will do what I must to maintain order. No! No! What did you do? Bring him back! You dare enter my domain and show such disrespect! Ozma! I am abiding by the rules we agreed upon. Rules that I now see work ever in your favor. And yet the thing a mortal comes to pray at my feet before your own, so do you rise to lay your judgment upon me. This woman came to you only after I denied her pleas. Pleas that would have disrupted the balance that you and I created. Together. Then it seems I owe you an apology. Allow me to correct my mistake. No! You... You monsters! Give him back to me! Give him back! <gasps> when you first came to me, I did pity you. But it is clear now that your selfishness and arrogance have led you astray. What did you do to me? I have made you immortal. Ah! Immortal? You cannot die. You cannot be with your beloved. So, so long, long as this world turns, you shall walk its face. You must learn the importance of life and death. Only then may you rest. So she's cursed by not Salem dying. Salem was a prisoner once again. I Her get fruitless it? attempts to reunite with Ozma eventually became nothing more than acts of spite and defiance against the gods. But wait, what would happen if, like, she did let him go? Like, obviously that came to... Oh. Uh, uh, uh. But perhaps the gods were not as powerful as they seemed. She had lied to them, turned them against one another. They were fallible. Oh. If she were to turn humanity against light and darkness, she could rid herself of their curse. Or at the very least, she could make them suffer. <laughs> Salem traveled from one kingdom to another, telling tales of how she stole immortality from the gods, welcomed any swordsman to cut her down, and demonstrated her powers. 
With the kings and queens in awe, she pulled them deeper into her scheme. She painted them pictures of a time when they would no longer have to watch their loved ones wither and die, when they could claim the powers of their creators for themselves and in turn perfect their own design. <laughs> All they needed to do was destroy their old masters. The gods had hoped that Salem would learn from her eternal curse. And she did. She learned that the hearts of men are easily swayed. has led you down this path. Massacre, build a new army. You do not. Ever. No, wait, was that the was that the thing in the Great War? How everyone just got wiped out? And there is no one left. You are all that remains of humanity. This planet was a beautiful experiment. What? But it is merely a remnant of what it once was. God, don't say that. We will learn from this failure. I hope that you will learn from yours. No! You can't leave! You can't leave! Come back! Still demanding things of your creators. Salem was alone. So how did humanity come to be? She cursed the gods. She cursed the universe. She cursed everything. Everything but herself. She wandered the face of the planet, awaiting a death that would never come. Until fate led her back to the land of darkness. This was it. This had to be it. The Brothers Grimm, the pools of black that continued to give rise to horrific nightmares. If the Fountain of Life granted her immortality, then surely the pools of Grimm would finally take it away. Ooh, smart. She okay. was wrong. But, well... This force of pure destruction could not destroy a being of infinite life. Instead, it created a being of infinite life with a desire for pure destruction. And in time, she would find her adversary. between realms. I'm afraid a tragedy has befallen your home at the hands of my brother. We have chosen to depart this world, but in our absence, I would like to offer you the chance to return to it. I don't understand. Reincarnation. Mankind is no more, yet your world remains, and in time, your kind will grow to walk its face once again. However, 
Without our presence, they will be but a fraction of what they once were. Creation, destruction, choice, and knowledge were the ideals upon which humanity was made. Now, I leave them behind with the hope that you may learn to remake yourselves. If brought together, these four relics will summon my brother and I back to your world, and humanity will be judged. If your kind has learned to live in harmony with one another and set aside their differences, then we shall once again live among you, and humanity will be made whole again. Oh, shit. But if your kind is unchanged, if you demand our blessings while still fighting amongst yourselves, then man will be found irredeemable and your world will be wiped from existence. Until your task is complete, you will reincarnate, but in a manner that ensures you are never alone. I'm sorry, but that world just isn't as dear to me without her. If I may, I'd rather return to the afterlife to see Salem. You will not find her there. You mean, she isn't gone? Salem lives, but the woman you hold dear in your memories is gone. Heed this warning. Where you seek comfort, you will only find pain. So, will you- I'll do it. Very well. Our creation rests within your hands. And so, Ozma was reborn. <gasps> but how? Where am I? Humanity come back! Like Thank you. Please tell me your name. Who are you? He didn't know. Ozma had found himself in a world completely unfamiliar to him. Cities looked different. Creatures known as the Faunus bore fangs and claws and were locked away in cages. And without the blessing of the gods. No one could perform magic like mankind was once capable of. No one but himself, and a woman known as the Witch. During his years of travel, he heard the same frightened whispers that spoke of a terrifying sorceress who commanded dark powers in the wilds among the beasts and monsters. Ozma was convinced that this witch was Salem and decided he needed to see what she had become. <laughs> call it magic or call it something stronger, but in that moment, the two knew exactly who it was that stood before them. What do we do now? Whatever we like. As Salem and Ozma recounted the events which had brought them back together, each withheld parts of their story. Salem, fearing Ozma would reject her, blamed the end of the world on the gods. Ozma, still unsure of where the truth lay, kept his task and the relics a secret. Though time passed and all seemed well, Ozma's conversation with the God of Light still lingered in his mind. He had found happiness, but humanity seemed more divided than ever before. Are you surprised? This world is quite literally godless. These humans have no one to guide them. Perhaps that's all they need. What are you saying? We could become the gods of this world. Mm. Our powers surpass all others. Our souls transcend death. We can mold these lands into whatever we want, what you want. Create the paradise that the old gods could not. The hearts of men are easily swayed.
the two amassed a following. That following grew into a prosperous kingdom. And at the head of that kingdom blossomed a family. <laughs> no! 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 Are these the maidens? Y'all, I'm so flabbergasted right now. <laughs> oh my God, no, no, oh no, no. Oh wow, oh my head just exploded. Keep, keep it going. Are we sure this is right? You said we needed to bring humanity together. In order to do that, we have to spread our word and destroy those who will deny it. Okay. What are we doing? <gasps> This isn't what he asked of me. Uh-oh. What did you say? Uh-oh. Mother! Father! Look! It was a miracle. Their children could perform magic. Oh, but what should shit. have been a joyous occasion was short-lived. Ozma told Salem everything. The true reason the God of Light had brought him back. The relics that lay scattered around the world and the day of judgment he had been told to prepare for. Don't you see? None of that matters anymore. Why spend our lives trying to redeem these humans when we can replace them with what they could never be? Thus began a long and painful cycle of death and rebirth for Ozma. Some lives were spent in mourning, many were spent attempting to forget it all. But no matter what, his mind would eventually turn back to the task he had been burdened with. And as the centuries went on, Ozma began to learn the importance of living with the souls with which he had been paired. But no matter where or how he lived, her presence was always felt. If humanity were ever to stand a chance of being united, one thing was clear. He had to destroy Salem. Knowing he could never rid the world of her through any mortal means, Ozma sought out the power of the relics. Armed with my knowledge, he believed he could fulfill his promise to the God of Light. Where are the other relics? He asked me his questions. What powers do they possess? And though I gave him my answers... How do I destroy Salem? 
Not all of them were to his liking. You can't. Well, that sucks. You can, but someone else can? My mind just blew up. You can't destroy Salem. I feel like Osman is the person or spirit that cannot destroy Salem. Someone else or something else could, but Oz couldn't. That explains the names now. Osman, Ospin, Oscar. Wow. So that is the origin of everything. That was, that was something. I've been, <laughs> I know I cut parts of this part right now out of the video, but when I say I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes straight, just in silence, like, God damn. Let me not prolong this anymore because the editing is going to be already insane. Okay, thank y'all for viewing this. Wow, the comments is about to blow up. My, just like my head. I will see y'all next Friday. No matter how much errors move forward, keep that PMA. Check out blitzframe.com for I'll see y'all next week. Wow, wow. Oh my, my soul and my brain and, and just my chest is just blowing up right now. Editor, one more time. <laughs> Luigi, number one.